We are your entertainment to get that right. Why you to the We are your entertainment to get that right. Why you to the Hey, this is Al McGee at www.yeticket.com, your entertainment ticket. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Ted 2. What a title for a sequel, right? Ted 2. Oh, that should let you know something about the film. Of course, you know, this is directed by Seth MacFarlane. It is a sequel to Ted. He also wrote it. He also did the voice to it. Of course, you got some characters or actors back here in this film, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. But you got a new one, Amanda Seyfried, she's in this. Of course, J Jessica Barth is back. Giovanni Ribisi is in this. Oh, you got Morgan Freeman in this, Sam J. Jones, Patrick Warburton, and Michael Dorn. Remember him from Star Trek? Now, that was kind of funny, but it got a little monotonous because they kept going on with his scene. But anyway, in this film, Ted and Tammy Lynn, you know, they having problems in their marriage, cursing at each other, throwing bricks at each other, dishes, and they're not talking, they're both working at the grocery store. But then someone came up with that brilliant idea, why don't you have a child? Of course, Ted can't have a child. They found out Tammy Lynn can't have a child. But while they're trying to adopt somebody, they realize, the state and everybody realize that Ted is property not a human being. Now, this is why I had a little problems with this because they want to compare Ted to my people, African Americans, as we were brought over here as slaves about civil rights and also interspecies relationships and also about the LGBT and racial divisions with a teddy bear. And, you know, that's what they said, you know, about parenthood. You got to be a human being to be a parent. So Ted has to prove that he was a human and he goes to court and things like that. Of course, Mark Wahlberg character, he, uh, you know, doesn't have a girlfriend until he meets uh, Amanda Seyfried. And she's a lawyer and she helps defend Ted's rights in court. And again, like I say, equating Ted's bear rights to Dred Scott and and for people who literally fought and died for civil rights you know they're trying to consider that and I uh, I didn't really get down with that I will admit there was a lot of funny moments in this I laughed out loud at a lot of the moments of course it's that type of film but the underlying story I did not totally agree with and I didn't think that was funny at all and also like I said they had Dorn in here, he was at Comic Con, and you know, and other characters uh, that got a little bit monotonous. And also, uh, you know, Genovani Ribisi's role, same thing, let me get Ted again. So there was really nothing original about this story. And like I said, there were some funny moments in this. Of course it's gonna be, it's Ted too. Now, was I entertained? Yes, but the back of my mind kept bugging me because of he equating himself to what my people went through, you know, as former slaves, and we're still going through a lot of shit. I mean, look what happened in the, the news this week or last week. And so it's funny, but I didn't like the complete storyline, and I'm only giving this two stars for the entertainment value out of four, or two palm trees out of four. And that's the problem that I had with Ted too. I wish they would have done a different story. And then I, I heard Seth MacFarlane say he did have a different story before, but somebody did it, so he changes to this. And also in the beginning, they did this uh, song and dance routine at the beginning. Uh, I wasn't entertained by that. One thing, it was just too long. And again, but that's Seth MacFarlane, he loves musicals and things like that and and also there was a lot of jokes about black cocks and uh, you know I, I don't know uh, like I said I just wasn't that totally entertained I did not really like the complete story of Ted 2 hey but see it for yourself you can judge it for yourself 
I'm judging it for me and your entertainment ticket. And I want to thank you for watching your entertainment ticket with Al McGee at www.yeticket.com.